Hello there, folks, and welcome back. Right now, we are inside the town of Middle Gate, and we're gonna head out of here. Mainly what we want to do right now is we want to get our characters buffed up with stats. The main way that we do this is by exploring sewage and muck ooze underfoot. See, they only say it once, well, twice. Okay, three times. Four times. Yikes. Five times. Shining eyes follow your presence. Progress. Fine trap. Wow, I guess they do have the gold that you steal on their chest whenever you open it up. Okay, so if you get a lot of gold stolen, they'll still have it, I think. Don't quote me on that. I think that's how it goes, though. Okay, now there should be a pathway down here. This is not the pathway down. <laughs> and not much you can do about the windmares. You just have to shield up whenever you can. I'm gonna try to get rid of those giant scorpions first. They poison. Poison is bad, as I'm pretty sure you don't need me to explain. I didn't get rid of too many. Uh, and that's the reason why I didn't like them. I was hoping they would kill off more of the, co of the coffin creeps, but I guess the character level is outweighing the monster le or the monster level is outweighing the character level. Excuse me. Yeah, there's not. You know, spell points at that point is pretty much a bygone conclusion. They're gone. Yeah, and as you can see, everybody's completely bone dry in the spell casting department. Okay, apparently the pathway down is not there. Sewage. Not there. Maybe the sewage and muck who's underfoot is a message saying that... No? Maybe not. I'm not seeing any... stuff... things... More giant scorpions. Ooh, the minor demons. I want to get rid of the minor demons first. Those are the ones that breathe fire. Since we don't have any way of casting spells, that makes things kind of tricky. So, in this instance, it's best for me to worry more about the minor demons. Oops. Wouldn't be so vicious if I could just cast shield on my party members. And everybody's poisoned after that, so... Find trap. We're gonna need that money to be able to pay for the healing costs. Not much we can do about that, you know? I mean, it's... Ugh. I don't exactly remember how everything's supposed to go inside this game, so it's uh, more of a trial and error kind of thing. heal your SP, sadly. As much as I would like it to. Anyways, we'll rest up right here. Do a bit of donating to get our blessings up. And we'll fly out in order to get our SP up, because we're honestly going to need that. But just to make certain, I'll drop a Lloyd's Beacon right here. Set new beacon, done. That's the nice thing about Lloyd's Beacon, you can cast that, and you should be able to teleport right to where you need to go. I flew too far south, but what, what can you do about it, you know? Woodhaven works pretty well. A1, that is. Or Area A2. 
Now what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get, at least get my caster, uh, Cassandra, up with intellect. If memory serves, I should be able... Uh, Lord's Beacon. Teleport to last. Hey, hey! Works like a charm. That's the thing. Lord's Beacon always avoided me for so long because I could never figure out how to find it. And there you go, naturally. Darn giant rats. And killer bees. I'm more worried about the killer bees than the giant rats. Because those are the ones that swarm. See what I mean? And apparently they poison too. Should have cast a shield after all. Oh well. And those things will run away on their own, so no worries about that. I don't know why you'd need entrapment unless you were like level 255 or something. You're so high level that even the uber leveled stuff would run away from you. Gene, cast, your poison. Seriously, next time you're in this gutter, I'm just going to leave you to die. Because I'm tired of having to cure poison everybody. Why do I say that? Because these are the stairs to the cavern. And here we are, Sansabar Caverns. Beware of vermin. Yeah, Sansabar has kind of a vermin problem. This way to the Master Thief. So you know, I'm not going to pay Maxwell any visits down here. I think it's kind of buggy on the Sega Genesis version. Stupid ankle trap. Protections. Okay, we're levitating, so there's not much we can do about ankle traps. Although I think they're around corners. So Just nuke them. Nuke them again. That's what I didn't like them doing. Gene, cast, cure poison. It was the hermit, right? Attack, cast. They're just soldiers and swamp dogs. We should be able to take them out pretty easily. You could also alternatively come down here to Sansabar instead of going around chasing swords like I did. It doesn't work too badly. Let's see. Well, nobody's dead, so that's always a good thing. I remember in the SNES version, it would just occasionally outright slay a character, and that wasn't any fun. Holy crap. Yep, shields up, Scotty. We're gonna have a lot of healing to do after this, in case you couldn't tell. Cast. Turn undead. They're very, very heavy in terms of AC and such. Should probably be going for the wyverns instead. Um, right. Acid spray, I guess? I'll try to do that on the wraiths. Not too effective. Fireball? Highly effective. I want to keep casting Super Shock. So I'll cast it. Cast. It's a good thing we have Shield up at the very least. Maybe you can't explore down...